Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode here on Hardcore Hardcore Minecraft Where today I want to go ahead and check on the iron stash a little bit Kind of see where we're at here and then kind of show you what's going on Because quite a bit has happened since the last time we talked eh, It's that's pretty good That's pretty good We're going to need about five of these for what we're doing today but let's go ahead and talk about, well, first off, the villagers, okay? I did put two more villagers into the breeding chambers, and I've actually already turned it off. I did plenty of AFKing, and I have it turned off now, but these guys did breed, and we now have a full supply of villagers yet again. So I'm very, very happy with that. Hopefully we don't have another raid, because, dear God, was that raid scary. So... Next up, the beaconing has happened, okay? What's the beaconing, you ask? This is the beaconing. So, basically what I did is I have a beacon here. I have a beacon and I just realized this is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> I need to get some glass on that eventually. Um, but I went ahead and got into the nether and uh, put one in there which actually let's just go ahead and see let's just go ahead and look and there she is this beacon is going to be basically the same thing it's going to be just strength and it's going to be regen it's pretty much everything across the oh no wait, never mind just speed uh speed and regen regen needs to be everywhere for obvious reasons and then speed because well it's another it's, we want to cover distance fast Next up, I'm not sure if I showed this one off yet, but we have that beacon there, which is the regen and the strength. And this one is the regen. No, it's not. It's haste too. It's not regen at all. This isn't. It's just strictly haste too. And I want to show this off. The progress made here is. It's it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I'm very very happy with how it's coming along, and we really don't have that much more to go. In about two more nights or maybe even one more night, I should have this chunk done, and then we can move on to the next chunk of land. I'm really, really excited to have so much of this cleared out. The only one problem that we have, the only one problem, is I think I underestimated just the amount of resources that this would be creating. So as we come over here, these are pretty much all got stuff in it. Uh, we got a lot of dirt in that one. We got stone. We got more stone. We got cobblestone. We got regular miscellaneous stones. Core old or or coal ore. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man, we got a lot of stuff going on here, and it's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. But we need to work on the storage as soon as we get this area cleared out and grassed up. Because we really, really need an actual base eventually. So let's go ahead and go back into Nether and start the project. Now, really quick, if you could take a look at this. We have a Porta Beacon with us with the ingots to turn it on, right? So what might we be doing? And I, and I made sure uh, we have Totems of Undying with us. And and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the end. Because this is going towards the end portal. And we're going to go ahead and take out an end city or two until we get the wings. We need the wings. The wings are the important thing that we need oh so desperately. Oh so desperately. Now if I remember right, I did prep. Yes, okay. I wanted to make sure I was prepped for this part, because I made sure I had the pearls, and I made sure I had this ready. So, I'm ready to get out here and see what we can have, and <sighs> fingers crossed that we can find one relatively fast. Because these things, in my opinion, and this is going to be an idea, I'm going to try and find where to drop somewhere, that we should have Eyes of Ender be able to locate end cities, okay? Because on the server, on the server, on the board server, there have been times, boop, 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 that's why we have water, that's why we have water, so that way if we look at an enderman, we're fine. Uh, nothing around here. Uh, let's just go out this way. But I think the eyes of ender need to work 
in the end here to help locate them because on the boredom server you have three guys who all want wings right we all want the wings we all want the and the uh, uh, shulker boxes we all want 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 right well here's the thing <laughs> If we had Eyes of Ender, it would help to locate the End Cities. You could go off in a random direction for a while, and you could see what it finally changes into a new direction, right? So, why can't we do that? Because I was playing around in creative mode. Turns out, you cannot, cannot throw Eyes of Ender in the end. Why is that not a feature? But I'm thinking, how simple would that be? You can triangulate, you can find whatever you need, right? You can find whatever the heck you need by just simply throwing an eye of Ender. I'm also thinking that this could apply into the nether, like go ahead and have it find the bastions or the fortress, whichever one would be more important. I don't know which one would be like more important, but I feel like that should be like a very real thing. Because trying to find freaking end cities, as you can tell, takes a little bit of time, even though we've only been looking for like, what, four minutes? At least this is a big continent. And we have one of these thingy majukes. I, I think these are like called like an end gate or something like that. Let me go ahead and get the coordinates of it. Okay. And I also want to get some of this course fruit while we're out here because I don't want to forget to grab it at some point. And course fruit can actually help us when we get to the end city because the most important thing about him is going to be the fact that if we levitate well those things are going to help make sure that we can get back to the ground immediately we can also use the ender pearls but the ender pearls i feel are a little bit more better for like a targeted landing spot where these guys are going to be random landing spots right we also need to get um some of this end stone before we get out of here as well eventually. See, I'm looking for a big continent. That doesn't seem like a big continent. It's like surrounded by a bunch of little islands. But that guy seems so far away. Do I want to go for it? I think going towards a bigger continent is the right call. Is that, just, that guy's just an island. He's just, he's just a bigger island. I just hope we got enough blocks. I think we have enough blocks. Okay, I think I made the right call. What is that? Is that an end city over there? Hold on a second. That, hmm. That looks way low, but that kind of looks like an end ship right there, and that looks like a main tower. I think it's just screwing with my eyes, but I th <laughs> that looks... I I'll try and enhance it if you guys can't see it well. But on my monitor, it looks like there's the outline of an end city, but I there's no way. I don't know. It's, it's just such a straight vertical outline. It looks... It it's gotta be a trick. It's gotta be a trick. This, this is the part that I hate, though, is when you want wings and you have to go into the end, or it's kinda dangerous, kinda. It's not terrible, but it's kinda dangerous. And you just don't know which way to go. You don't know. You are just aimlessly wandering, hoping that you're picking the right way. Um, I always thought that these like kind of scape-like portals were portals that like spawned near the end cities. And obviously that's not the case considering we've already found two. It doesn't look like this content, continent continues with that island flying there, so I'm thinking we just go across. And <laughs> I'm still not seeing an end city, so I'm thinking it was just just a random island, optical illusion, me wanting something that I can't have. Yep. There's just nothing. <laughs> it had to be just like a random little island that just looked good. You know, instead of building. Yeah. <laughs> this, hey, there we go. Okay, maybe I should have made that bridge because if there's no skateboard over here, I gotta make one anyways. And 
de... Well, here's one problem. I'm not seeing a ship. Yeah, I'm not seeing a ship. Because we got building there, building there, building there, and no other real paths going out. So I... I don't... Oh, if we didn't get a ship. That's the reason I came out of here. I wanted wings. I wanted to get wings, and I wanted to get unbroken, and then I wanted to get the mending. I wanted to have nice things. The nice thing is, though, regardless, is that this looks like a pretty decent sized end city. So, we're looking at one treasure room right there, and maybe a second one right there. So, at least we should have like four chests worth. As soon as we get up here, I'm going to deploy the beacon. Well, actually, I gotta kill these two guys at the guard, the guards right here. And then once I killed them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And there's a ship. Okay. So, as soon as I get these guys killed, though, we need to. Oh, hey, hey, hey. You're dead. Um, I need to get the beacon down. Now, I did bring one potion, yeah, one potion of regeneration, which is fine. It's nothing too major, but that's definitely preferred if we could just have the beacon down instead of popping potions. So I'm thinking we're going to go with the strength, and I'm thinking, whoops, strength, regen. I think those are going to be the two best ones for us. Ah, very much. Very much nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep... The sword on... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. There we go. That's better. Keep the sword in the offhand so that way I have looting active as I'm shooting um, these guys. Because I want to use arrows as my main form of attack. These rooms always scared the hell out of me. Blocks, 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 blocks. Oh, come on, your show is still open. Open wide. Okay, what do we got? Okay. Solid. 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 I will gladly take all this. Yes, fire protection four. Ooh. 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 Okay, I don't have fire protection. Um, no ender chests. That's fine, though. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get back down. I want to get all these shulker shells. Wow, that sucked. Thank God for feather falling. How's the health? Oh, they're holding up all right. Ooh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Curse of Vanishing. Uh, we can bring it along, I guess. Fortune, saddle, that's fine. And, you know what, let's go ahead and just put some of this in there. We really don't need all this. And I do have Silk Touch on this, so I can pick this guy up. Next one can be right down there, except I don't want to do that. Where is the ship? Is the ship over here on this side? Yep, okay. So, I want to use this last Ender Pearl to get over to the ship. That should be good. Just get in here. Two health potions. And this guy should be easy to take out. Open up. Say hi. And the wings are ours as soon as we fall. Curse of binding. We don't need that. Don't need Curse of Binding in our life. Aqua Affinity and Protection, absolutely. Unbreaking, sure. Unbreaking and Vanishing, I guess. Diamond, Diamond, Iron. Curse of Binding, we don't need Curse of Binding in our life. We don't need to accidentally equip that. Okay. We still need more Shulker shells. back on our fucking hopper oh god i thought i had my wings okay oh that was stupid that was stupid oh that was so stupid oh you stupid you big fat stupid stupid of stupidity you stupid 
god. Oh my god, that was that was bad. That could have been really, really bad. Wow. Alright. Here boys, come and get it. Yeah, that'll work. But I think we're good to pack up the beacon and then head back to these coordinates and get back home hopefully safely with the wings. Alright, I'm gonna grab these last couple of course fruits here. And that takes us up to... I think, like, close to 10, but since these are kind of low, I'm gonna grab these two. And with the... Let me look down a little bit. And with that, let me go and pop this in since we have it. And... Where's the... Oh, there's the exit. Hopefully we can get this in one shot and get the heck back home. Should be able to, I think. Yes, indeed. All right, let's get back through that portal. All right, sweet. So, we now have our wings. We didn't have to use any of the totems, luckily. One point we probably should have. But that's besides the point. Now we have that on one side, and now we got a dragon head on the other. We need more dragon heads, so we need a lot more. With the wings, that'll help. We'll be able to do it. Now hopefully I have a mending and unbreaking book. Although I know I probably can make a trade for unbreak or uh, for mending if we need it. Nope, we have mending. We just don't have unbreaking. That's unfortunate. That. Oh, anvil broke. Okay, well, we need a new anvil. But that is absolutely beautiful and lovely, the fact that we have this much accomplished. I, I really, seriously, didn't think that we'd get this far at all. It's, it really makes me happy that we are this far. And then we also have the under chest, which I think the under chest can go right there. I think that's gonna be fine. And we have our Porta Beacon, which I don't know if I'll keep in the under chest or not, but we'll we'll figure it out with time what we're gonna do there. And then we just have seven and a half shulker boxes. Which isn't that much. It's, it really isn't. So, and then we have the curse of vanishing, the fire protection, unbreaking, Mr. Sharpie needs to come back out, honestly. And then we did have four cores for flowers. So let's go ahead and plant these guys really quick. And then I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is the correct layout for how to do a coarse flower farm. I'll go ahead and give it a torch right in the middle and get back inside. There we go. And yes, that is correct, because otherwise that flower would have died. So anything that branches off to the sides will instantly die because of the block. So we have our coarse flowers ready to go, and they're growing already. It's impressive. But I believe that that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'm trying to think what I want to do in the next episode. I'm probably going to do a lot of work off camera in Town Hall, so that way I can clear out that area. So maybe it'll be Town Hall development. Who knows? But I'll see you guys back here in the next episode.